you just twiddle the knob. Can't resist. What a day. Um, what day is it? Friday? Friday. Uh, I was going to leave this for the next homebrew Wednesday. Uh, I've just got to show you because uh, it's took me a couple of days to get um, to get right and I think I've found, finally sort of tweaked it so it's right. Anyway, let's uh, get inside before it starts raining again and I'll show you the um, thing I want to show you. I have built a very crude fermentation chamber. All right, George, shut up, man. George Michael, the uh, found him. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Slumped in his car with chocolate around his mouth. Uh, they said it was careless whisper. Anyway, I've <laughs> I've built a fermentation chamber. Um, it's nothing pretty to look at, but it's doing the job. And here it is. Uh, so I've just used up what wood I had left because I didn't want to buy any more wood because uh, I'm between jobs, like I've been saying, and I am skittered. So I found the laminate flooring in the loft that was used in the kitchen. There were a few boards left of that and I've managed to knock something together out of that. So before I take the lid off and show you inside, let me just show you it working. And how I'm going to do this is with the thermometer. So I'm using one fish tank heater and there are two fermenters in there full of water. The temperature is 16.6 .6 degrees in the brewery at the minute uh, but if I put the thermometer I forgot what it were then idiot if I put the thermometer just in the gap there under the lid she starts to rise now I've been trialing with this over the last couple of days I couldn't get it warm enough in there uh, and I've jiggled it about I've sorted out some more insulation inside it and I think the problem was I was packing um, the heating element too tight and it wasn't letting the heat out into the fermentation chamber um, so I've rejigged it and I Possibly I've got the element too warm, um, but that is something I can just change just by twiddling the knob oh, on the uh, heater. But as you can see, we're sort of soaring into the low 20s, um, and there's only water in these fermenters, so obviously when they're both fermenting they're going to be kicking out their own heat anyway, which will bump it up. So we're slowing down at around 22 degrees, I, I bet it'll get to Celsius. Yeah. Yeah, around 22 degrees Celsius. So inside there, it is doing its job. It's, uh, it's in the fermentation uh, temperatures. Uh, I mean, you can have it lower, you can have it warmer, depending on, on what you want to do. Um, let's have a look inside her and see how I've got uh, I've got it set up. Right, so the box is just loose. Uh, it's actually gone up to 23 degrees, I don't know whether you can see that. Pulled it out, so it's... anyway. Uh, the lid is just a solid lid that's insulated that lifts on and off of the box. Um, I was going to hinge it, but when I hinged it, I couldn't get the fermenters in and out. So it's not a problem. And for the time being, I've just sealed up. There's a little bit of a gap 
next to the lid, which I was worried would let some heat out. But we'll see. So the lid comes off. Like that. To reveal. Two fermenters. I've just sort of insulated the top of them just to help it out a bit. Two fermenters. Now because I've insulated the lid and I've insulated the floor, I haven't got the height room for the um, for the airlock. Alright, the airlock is making it too tall when you put the lid on. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get some more silicon tubing. Instead of having airlocks, I'm just going to have to have uh, some blow-off tubes right from the very beginning. And I'm going to either see if I can get some uh, coke bottles in the fermenter for them to bubble away in there. And if I can't, if there isn't enough room in there, then I shall have the tubes going out and behind the fermenter near the wall where the window is. But that's not a problem. So... I know a lot of you will be thinking, uh, he put a video out saying that he puts the fish tank element inside the fermenter uh, with the wort and lets it ferment. Um, now obviously, because I've only got one plug socket um, left um, on the wall and I don't want to put any more plugs sort of into it and overload it for safety reasons, I had to come up with a way of heating both fermenters using one element. So what I've done is I got a tub with a lid and I filled the tub with the lid that sits in the middle with water and the element sits inside the tub. So this water in here is quite warm. It's, I think I've set it at about 36 degrees Celsius. So that is the heating um, element to it. The water heats up um, to warmer than what you would ferment at, but the heat then goes into the box and heats both fermenters. And then the lid just goes back on. And that's it. So, uh, the fermentation chamber is done. My goal in here is to brew in here um, fermenting here and dispensing here. Um, and actually, sort of in the summer times, like you saw at the beginning, 17 degrees is sort of going to be alright for pilsners just to leave out uh, in here. Because, like I said, the concrete ceiling warms up and pushes heat into the room, and also the fridge uh, chucks heat out because it's a small room that heats it up fairly quickly. Um, so that's it. I just thought I'd show you the new setup uh, to ferment in the brewery. Uh, set it up now. Just need to sort of keep an eye on the temperatures. Just doing a few more tests, just so that I'm ready, so that when I want to do the uh, the brew, I can brew it, ferment it, and not have to worry and, and mess about with anything. Doing all these dummy runs just to make sure I'm ready when I want to ferment. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's built for two fermenters. I can ferment, you know, 10 gallon of beer in there. Um, a, a sort of a, a controlled fermentation temperature. And not have to worry if the temperature drops outside or drops in the shed because the shed isn't insulated. Um, so that's it, guys. Brilliant. So don't forget... I know you saw the last video I put up on the Idle Valley Brewing webpage to encourage you to go over to idlevalleybrewing.com forward slash shop. Um, and thanks for your feedback on that, guys. Um, don't forget to go over. Just, just, just go over and check it out. And if you can, just buy a few little bits and bobs. That'll, that'll help him out tremendously. So that's it, guys. Stay safe. Pinky out. And I will see you all very soon with another video.